Hello, my name is Marcos Tigliolo. My wife and I are the owners of Vidalco South Carolina uh, Fine Wines. And today I'm happy to inform you that we are going to be presenting the new edition of wines that are coming to us upstairs. So to start up this presentation, I'm going to take you to our first vineyard in Italy. This is a 16-acre vineyard, very small, in one of the most prestigious regions in Italy. This, this is the famous Brunello del Mo, de Montalcino. This is 100% Sangiovese, H and O for 36 months plus bottle aging after. It's a DOCG, which means it's the highest quality a wine can get. This wine, they only produce between five, uh, six and eight thousand bottles a year, which is very very small. My favorite dish in the restaurant with this is the veal saltimbocca. To continue our presentation, I'm going to take you to the. Baby Brunello, like some people refer to it, which is the Rosso de Montalcino. Same family from El Valentiano, and this is again 100% Sangiovese, but they pick grapes from a completely different parcel of land, and they only age them for 12 months, so it's a little easier on the palate, not as many tannins. And my favorite dish with this wine is the chicken parmesan. Moving on, I'm going to take you to South America. Now we're going to go to Chile. This family is one of the most prestigious in that area and they only produce wine for prestige. They are located in the Colchagua Valley, which is one of the best locations in that area. And this special bottle of wine, they use up to 70 year old vines to produce it, which is something now very common nowadays. This is 100% Cabernet Sauvignon, it's aged on premium French oak for 18 months plus bottle aging after. This is a 2005 vintage, next vintage when my release is 07 or 08, in between it did not meet their standards, they don't bottle it. My favorite dish for this is the New Zealand lamb. To continue in South America, we're going to go to my home country, Argentina, and of course, we're going to be talking about Malbec. What is very special about this family, this, they are located at the highest altitude production in Argentina. And what that does, the weather gets a little more extreme, so the skin of the grape gets a little thicker to protect from that weather. So that grape will retain more. So you get more out of that wine. One of the most special uh, things about this family is that they're 100% organic. So basically, what Mother Nature gives them, that's what they produce. It's a beautiful, very well-rounded Malbec that will go very well with your New York strips, among other steaks. Last but not least, we're going to go back to Italy, but a completely different region. Now we're going to go to Veneto, Cavilla Vitis. This is being produced for over a hundred years. And this is a very special fun wine. Uh, this is a blend of Cabernet Sauvignon, Malbec and Refosco. Very rare to find a bottle of wine that has those grapes all produced in Italy. Refosco is a very tiny uh, production grape that only grows in uh, northern Italy. And because it has Cabernet and Malbec, you can eat it with Cabernet Sauvignon dishes or Malbec. So the New York Strip, the New Zealand Lamb, the Filet Mignon, among some of the other appetizers. And one last wine is their Multipuccino d'Abruzzo. So this is south of Veneto. Montepulciano is also, again, one of the most prestigious regions in Italy. Very traditional wine, and this is actually made out of the traditional Montepulciano, which is Montepulciano grapes, and up to 15% of unknown grapes. Unknown for us, known for the vineyard winemaker, which they put in to blend it, soften it up. Very good traditional Italian wine, and this, my favorite dish for this is the eggplant parmesan. So, that will conclude our presentation and I hope to see you at Alps Upstairs.